Let's jump into this one, man. Driver carrying a legal firearm in his truck. He was fired from his company after the DOT officer or trooper chose to mention the firearm on his inspection paperwork. Now, you get pulled over and the officer says, hey, we about to do a level one, two or three inspection. And the driver thought it was OK to let the trooper know, hey, I, I have a firearm inside my truck, but I'm legal. I'm, I'm legal to carry in this particular instance. He's a local delivery driver in the state and the, in the state that he's in. He's legally to carry uh, a concealed weapon. Unfortunately for him, the company that he was driving for, for some, you know, reason, reasons, uh, don't allow their drivers to have personal protection on the trucks. The story of a truck driver feels that he's better off fired than dead after losing his job over a legal carry to legally carry a concealed weapon. The driver in question took to Reddit to air out his vent about what happened. He says, I worked in KY as an overnight delivery driver, usually 10 to 14 stops a night. Never left KY, I delivered in really sketchy low-income areas and never felt safe, so I carried a concealed firearm legally. Of course, delivering in low-income areas, I'm, I'm sure a lot of drivers, especially that do overnight driving and overnight deliveries, probably to some of these places that has to be open in the morning and the and the goods needed has to be delivered at all hours of the night in his particular case he has like 10 to 14 stops so in order to protect himself and never leave in the state which he can legally carry in he has his personal protection with him put that coffee down he was pulled over by a state trooper who decided to do a level one inspection. And he decided to say, hey, I have a concealed carry on me. Well, instead of saying, OK, I got you. The trooper decided to put it on the inspection report. Well, I was pulled over by a state trooper who decided to do a level one inspection on me. I politely informed the officer that I had a concealed carry on me and he wrote it down on the level one inspection for whatever reason past the level one. No violations. Well, I had to turn the inspection over to my place of employment and they fired me in. Mind you, it wasn't no violations found on him or the truck or the trailer. But being that the officer put it down on the inspection report, that gives the company pause to terminate his employment. But he said, thankfully, the termination ended up leading him, leading him into getting a better paying job. But it doesn't morally or ethically make it right. And that's what has the driver bothered. And I agree. It, it doesn't make it right that you're getting terminated simply because you have your personal protection on you. But there's somewhere in the bylaws or the policy that says, unfortunately, you're not allowed to have it. And being that you broke policy, instead of coming back and saying, hey, we understand driving at night can be tumultuous, can be dangerous, but still our policy states that you cannot have a personal protection on you. And 
for that breaking of policy, we have to terminate you. But of course, the driver already had another local job starting up with better pay. I just think it's funny that these trucking companies expect us to deliver expensive merchandise in the middle of the night and hope we don't get robbed or murdered. They preach safety, but they really don't seem to care about my safety at all. Considering some of the areas that I go to. And a lot of drivers in that Reddit post seem to feel the same way. For me, I mean, there's many ways to protect yourself, considering that personal protection is one of them. But it's unfortunate that the companies that put these bylaws in effect, maybe they don't understand some areas that you go through. A lot of these companies, a, a lot of these people don't even see the area that you go through. They, they only see it on a map. So, yeah, I, I feel for this driver. I mean, I, I can honestly say that maybe I, I wouldn't have probably said anything about my personal protection. I mean, I'm sure that the, the DOT officer wasn't going to come on my truck and, and search my truck for anything because I haven't given him a reason to search the truck. Would I would have said something about that? Maybe not. But again, I feel you driver as better to be protected than end up on an obituary. Drivers, what do you think? Is the company wrong for getting rid of this driver because he had his personal protection on him? Because he broke quote unquote policy? Or do you feel that these companies don't care about your safety enough to allow you to have your personal protection with you when you delivering in areas that you're not familiar with? This sort of thing happens to truck drivers all the time, all across the United States. I don't know. Just let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Big G's got it locked. Want you to love me all night, yeah, take me down Want you to make me real wet, yeah, swim around Want you to take it like a G, and yeah, I'll make a sound And I want you to miss me when I'm not around Come dive in my ocean, in for my push My love is like lotion, it's all over you You all over me, cause you my little boo How many times I gotta tell you, don't fuck around